Shalom family, welcome back to another day in our lives. So we are running errands. I know this is so new to you guys because I'm normally at home being boring, but we were going out to run some errands. It's preparation day. The house is all the way together. I'm gonna show y'all everything. That's Ruby J. Hi. I'm gonna show y'all everything, but I wanna wait till we get like our final little touches so that we can show you guys the before and after because we've been doing some things around the house. Yeah. So we're about to hit these streets and we'll see y'all in a bit. Yeah. Carried, in case you guys didn't know, we got a van. Yes! How dare you? Well guys, home sweet home. Unfortunately, my phone died and I wasn't able to capture the entire shopping trip, but I get to show you guys my haul. So let's go inside and I'll show you guys what I got from the how about I forgot that we still got to go to Walmart? Like, we done done everything and still. <laughs> Ruby J. And I just remembered that we still got to run by Walmart. So, hold on one moment on the Five Below Hall because we got to go by Walmart. And then we're going to come back and then we'll do the haul. Bye. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> That's my guy, Mr. Riley, Riley Bombali, <laughs> Riley Thomas. My God, look at Kifa. Did you stop it? He wants to be seen as well. I love those guys. It's nothing like being a boy mom. I mean, no shade to the girls. I love Ruby Jane. That's my sis. That's my boo. But I love my sons. Oh my gosh. Look at my little precious babies. My little precious lions. <laughs> my little precious lions. I just love them so much. And as mom is the oldest, I love helping out my mom, my dad, my sister, and my little brother. Because, you know, without them, I don't know what could happen. Without him, I would be nothing. <laughs> Okay, family, so we are back from doing all of our shopping and everything. So we're about to get into this haul. Well, it's going to be a Walmart and Five Below haul. So we're about to get into that in 2.5 seconds. guys let's get into this haul first we have really I just got a lot of decor pieces because like I said we're getting everything prepared for the before and after of our house because I know you guys have been it for the ones who have been following this channel and you've been seeing the house you have gotten to see some things kind of morph and change so and if you're new to this channel then boom you get to get caught right on up so we just got really a lot of decor pieces. So I got some faux plants. I got this little faux plant right here. And then, 
everything is faux. Some little hanging plants. I thought these would like look real cute in the bathroom. Or anywhere, let me not say, because. Okay, so like I said, I got two of these. I don't know where, I said bathroom, but I don't know. It depends on where it looks best in the house. I got these. And this all came from Five Below. I got these two containers, just a little wicker. What's like wicker and um, rope, like the nautical rope. I'm um, thinking about putting these in the bathroom to put like the towels, roll the towels up and put them in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the floor. I got a twin comforter. This is for Riley's bed. Ruby Jane has one too. Hers is pink. And then these little touch lights. But they're touch lights, but they have a remote control. They're battery controlled. So put these um, probably in the kitchen. Because I had this other light, but it acts crazy. So got these. And then another charger port thing because we have a lot of um, type C style and this one is the dual. Y'all can see that. Um, okay, one more bag from five below. It's dusty. Got a throw pillow for my bed. <laughs> and And this is going to go on like the back of the commode. Hopefully it's not too wide. I just thought about that. I hope this is not too wide, but it needed something back there. So hopefully it's not too wide. If it is, then we'll figure out somewhere else to put it, but this. So I need to, I'm gonna put all of the stuff together to do the final thing, but right now I'm just putting everything down. So this is the final thing that we got from Five Below. Okay, now to the Walmart haul. Y'all, I'm so goofy. I have a whole nother bag right here beside me. I didn't see it because it was like right under my arm. So these little plants right here and all of this stuff is like literally, well, okay, some of it is like $10, $15 because that's how Five Below is set up now. Like they have some things that's like five and beyond. So, but this is, this was five, believe this was $5 though. Yeah. The three pack of the mini faux plants. Yes, I got a lot of faux plants. I have real plants in my house too now, but I got these faux plants because I don't want things to die if I forget to water them. Y'all know I'm about to have a baby the end of May. So, judge not. <laughs> and I got this little faux palm. I think it's so cute. And last but not least, I got this little collection, or it's like a little collage frame kit or whatever. I thought it might be cute. Because like I said, our bathroom is really, we have to really like do like a decorative overhaul in there because that is like not, mm -mm, it's not up to par. So, this is literally, last but not least, this is from Five Below as well. And this one, yeah, this one was 10. So, like I said, everything at Five Below now, it used to all literally be $5 and less. Now, most of us, like, at, the most I've ever seen at Five Below, I think, is 15. It could be 20. So, I think the most that you'll ever really see at Five Below is $20 and then. But... Like I said, that's the last thing that we got from Five Below. Now let's get into the Walmart haul. All right, family. Uh, first things first, look at this big old belly, y'all. Ooh, that bump is bumping. It's like not even bump no more. That's just, okay, anyway. So, the Walmart haul. First things first, I got some more little bath mats because you can literally never have too many. That way when you're washing one set of bath mats, you have more bath mats to put down, which is what we're doing right now. <laughs> so 
so some black because we're kind of switching up the theme. Okay. We're creating a theme in that bathroom over there. And y'all know these bathrooms need help in general. The whole house needed help in general. I'll be glad when we can do a cute little overhaul for the master bathroom, but this house is a fixer upper and just doing the aesthetic things like decorative has been something else. But anywho, so first things first in the Walmart haul is the little mats. So just a simple little math, math, a simple little bath mat set from Walmart. I'm gonna lay this down here. And then got some more towels because y'all know how it is when you move somewhere and you just want new fresh towels. So got some of these because I'm gonna roll. I'm thinking about rolling these and putting them inside of the baskets that I got from Fabula. So I got like just four of these. We already have more like bigger ones, but these right here. So I got four of these. And I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna put that down here too. Here are the other two. And these are super affordable. These little bath towels are less than $3. They're like $2.94, so. And they feel good. I mean, they're not like luxury, but they feel good. They get the job done, nevertheless. Got some little throw pillows. They have these little two, um, two throw pillow sets for $14. So, got these. Oh, you know what? Also got this coordinating and pretty much everything I got was it's like all Walmart brand. Um, this coordinating dining set. I thought this was so cute. It comes with the runner and the oh, napkins. Hi. Okay, so the runner, the placemats, the napkins, and the napkin rings. So, and this was like 20 bucks. Boom got me and my king a couple of just standard pillows because the ones that we have on our bed it was just like they're too flat so we just got two more of these just to add to what we are like i said just two standard walmart well they're not walmart brand they're a walmart brand duh if that makes sense <laughs> so this is the mainstay brand which is like the store brand so got these two standard pillows and oh oh i forgot this is something else i got for the bathroom and this is just your regular run of the mill little um, commode thing. Like it goes like under your feet. I just like it. I'm from the 80s, so this is life. This is how we had these and the little thing for the for the back of the toilet, for the, you know, the lid. I didn't get a black one of those. I just got this and that because these are just really like our bathroom alternatives because our other colors that we pretty much have throughout the whole house is gray. So, but this is the backup because everything's getting washed right now. Boom, let me see. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. All right, and I also got the kids some, well not kids, I don't like to call them kids. Got the children some little um, like accent rugs to go in front of their beds. I mean, I know we have carpet and all that good stuff like that. But number one, I think that it adds a cute little um, personal flair in front of the beds. Um, it kind of warms up how the room looks. And I just like them. So I've been liking them since college. That's kind of been my little thing. It adds just a cute little, but it's an accent. So it does the job. It does what it's supposed to. So I got this one to go in front of Keefa's bed because he has like a little Paw Patrol bed. So this is for Keefa's bed. Well, floor in front of Keefa's bed. This is for Riley and Ruby Jane, even though you didn't see her, didn't get a chance to see her little comforter. Like I said, hers is like a pink coat. It coordinates better with her comforter. And her other comforters, that her other comforter that she uses is like a Trolls theme and it's bright colors. But either way, we felt like this would be the best choice no matter what she had on her bed. She picked this out herself. And did I do everything? No. Um, also, we love beach towels. It's cheaper to buy a beach towel than it is to buy a bath sheet. So Riley picked this out. We already have like other ones that we use, but Riley, he needed a new one. So Riley got this. And got another 
set of sheets because you can never have too many. So we got another sheet set as well. And also, it was just as affordable to go ahead and buy a whole sheet set as it would have been to just buy individual pillowcases because like I said, y'all saw we just got the two pillows. So instead of doing that, though we're not um, pressed or stressed on money, we still like to do things that are cost effective, that make the most sense so that we get the best bang for our buck. So it's like that, you know, even when you don't have a lot of children, but when you have lots of children and getting ready for another one, you know, budget, budget. So boom, that's how you remain a baller. Budget your money. Boom, so we got this. And oh, we got a coffee table. And there's our coffee table over there. I'm not gonna move that, I'm too, too big for that. And so we got our coffee table. But that is it for the Walmart and Five Below haul. So I'm so excited to get everything put together and show you guys, you know, the finished shebang bang of everything. And I think when I do that, I think I'm gonna just do a whole entire like walkthrough of the house so y'all can see what we've done so far. We still have plenty of stuff that we that we wanna do to the house inside and out, but we've done so much. So I'm gonna make sure that, that might be a part two, to be honest, because I don't want this content to be too long because it's been a while since I did like actual like content. I've been doing a lot of shorts. Y'all know I'm pregnant. I'll be having a lot going on. But um I can't wait so I because I think I want to insert like the original walkthrough of the house, the original tour, and then bring it up to date to now. So I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. It'll all be done on the editing room floor. But yeah. anywho so that's that I'm about to get all this stuff picked up and put together but while I once I get all of that done like I said I'll come back I'll show you guys everything but until then I think that I'm gonna let you guys go and come back with part two with everything put together because it's getting very very close to sundown and I want to get all of this stuff put up where it needs to be and then get ready to get my Shabbat started. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been a long day. So, and it's been a long week and days in our lives. So, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll see you guys back. It'll be part two, but it'll be picking up, like, almost right where we left off. Okay, guys. Love y'all. Shalom.